Right guys, so we are now leaving Cheltenham. 140 kilometres done, another 140 and we should be home. Arrived in one piece, looks like it might rain so uh, that's going to be a little tricky on the way home but fingers crossed everything will be alright. And yes I know I'm sat in a traffic light, problem is I don't really want to split lane split down the left hand side and there's no room on the right to do it. I think this may be the way we came in. I really hope it is. If not, I am slightly knackered. Right, Stamford Mill Road, we went down there. We're on the right way. So we're most likely going to hit rush hour at rugby, which isn't great. I'm going to nip down left here. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Straight on, excellent. So, yeah, all in all, it's been a fantastic day. Um, I literally popped down to Grandad's just for a cup of tea. Instead, he decided to take me out for lunch. Um, so we went to Brasserie Blanc, which is like one of Raymond Blanc's restaurants. Um, in Cheltenham. Oh my god, it was amazing. You never go hungry when you go and visit my granddad. He was on good form. Uh, we got a call last night, and I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier, to say he was actually at home. So, I thought, him being at home, I could go say hi. So granddad took me out for lunch, um, and as always, he refused to let me pay. Well, he goes, I don't want, you know, you've spent petrol money to come down here and your time and stuff like that. Which I understand, but I stopped in that petrol station in Morton-on-Marsh and I do three pounds worth of petrol. I thought the petrol gauge was broken, but no. But, bike was running absolutely fine. Uh, we have got a little bit of rain to contend with. So fingers crossed we'll get we'll be able to outrun the rain. Oh please slow. Ah oh, that's alright, there's nothing there. Oh my god the food's amazing. But I'm one of those people that I'll always have if there's something on the menu I've never had, I'll always have that. So I had a really nice fish soup to start off with. The problem being, my breath now absolutely stinks of garlic, which isn't very nice in a helmet. Um, and then had duck to finish off. And I've had duck before, but had it with blackberry instead, and that was really nice. Go for crawler lane. I overtook on an A road. Oh. I haven't got my earplug in properly. So, unfortunately, I think the progress we made coming down here followed by the progress we're most likely going to have going back means, unfortunately, I'm going to get caught in the dark which is what I really didn't want and uh, the reason for that is the headlights on this are absolutely This little bike and this little bag have been absolutely fantastic. Um, I can't fault it. The riding position's really comfortable. Um, you know, it'll sit at 60, just. 
provided there's not too many hills. Um, it's just absolutely brilliant. Like I said, the one downside with it is, is the lights aren't great. Um, and apart from that, my head's a little bit chilly. But I've got balaclava in my bag. But that's not my bike's fault, that's my helmet. There's an annoying gap right where my ear goes. And I can feel the wind rushing up it. And I hope the mic's not sort of picking it up too much. But it's on the left hand side which is where the mic is and that's fairly chilly that's the fanciest sign for an industrial park i've ever seen This is where we broke down. There we go. That's where we broke down. We are almost there. I've got my earplugs in. <sighs> Just gotta get round rugby now. Rugby I'm not looking forward to. If I can get it before the sun sets, great. It's looking very wet over there. I think I'm going in that direction, away from all the rain. If that is the case, then that is going to be awesome. So, quick update for you. Wrist is mullered, but from clutch. Um, but bike, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I have a lack of cartilage in my shoulder, so my shoulder's starting to ache a little bit. But the bike itself, oh my days, is it comfortable. If I was slightly taller, I would say get the Monster. But for me, being short, this is ideal. See, it just wants to go. Just wants to be happy. Happy and go forth. Well, that's the M1. feels slightly weird to be sat over the top of the M1. You don't really think about these things in the car, do you? Jesus Christ, I could get high in this helmet from the fumes from that bus. Almost home. Home county. Whoop. That is awesome. Not gonna lie, that aeroplane is really cool. Right, so you can see my headlights down there. The, the, re the range of light on Azontes is shocking. Most of the light is down on that road bit. So that's mildly terrifying. It's getting dark now. I smell pig shit. must be near a farm somewhere. Fuel gauge hasn't moved since we fit 
sewed up on the way down in Morton or Marsh. Oh no, it did then. I forgot, it depends which way I go around the corner. So this is my headlights issue. See that? That's where all my headlights are. That's not good. And yes, I know I'm riding a lot one-handed. It's because my hand hurts. I really wouldn't mind my free cup of coffee right about now from Waitrose. That must be the most middle-class thing I've ever said. And yes, I, it's really annoying. I took a stupid wrong turn and then got caught up in a one-way system. Great. I don't have a clue what the time is. Not gonna lie, really want a donut for when I get home. Oh, cup of tea. I'm gonna have such a runny nose by the time I get home. You didn't really need to know that. And my breath still stinks of garlic from that fish soup. Right, so, everything seems alright with the bike. Apart from my clutch lever, which is getting a lot worse. A lot worse. Oh, we've got forward and backwards movement now, as well as up and down. That's not good. Right, so this is the problem I have with headlights on my bike. That's low beam, okay? That's full beam. It's not really much use. It's less use, in fact, than a chocolate teapot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll try and hash together some sort of edit. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, great day out. And it's going dark now, so I'll leave it there. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. And take care.